In this video, we are going to discuss logistic regression. Logistic regression is sort of like linear regression, except that instead of predicting real valued labels, we're going to predict binary labels y in plus or minus one. This is typically used for spam detection. You can count the number of times different words appear in an email, uh, which gives you some high dimensional x vector. Then you may want to predict uh, a label spam or not spam, which is minus one or plus one, uh, based on the value of the vectors x. One way to do so is to try to separate spam data points from not spam data points in the feature space using a hyperplane of equation W transpose x plus b. This is known as a linear classifier. However, there may be no such hyperplane, or there may be an infinite number of such hyperplanes. How can we determine the best? Well, the basic idea of logistic regression is that we will include in our analysis a degree of uncertainty based on how far away we are from the hyperplane W transpose X plus B. This degree of uncertainty is captured by the so-called logistic function sigma of T equals to 1 over 1 plus E to the minus T. I cannot really draw it here because it has to be three-dimensional, but you have to imagine that the logistic linear separation of the data will be represented here by a surface which will have a smooth drop along the linear separator. If we look at this drop, we would see something like an ace shape. One way to interpret the logistic regression is to consider that the height of the surface is the probability that the feature is a spam or has labeled plus one. So if you are very far away from the linear separator, you're definitely a spam or not a spam. But if you are near the linear separator, then both cases are likely. More rigorously, if we interpret h of x as the random variable, that's sort of the random prediction of the logistic regression, we see that according to this logistic regression, the probability that h of x is equal to y is going to be sigma of y times w transpose x plus b. Indeed, if y equals plus one, we obtain the defining equation of the probabilistic interpretation of the logistic regression. Otherwise, if y equals minus one, we obtain probability of h of x equals minus one equals to one minus the probability of h of x equals to one. And this is equal to one minus sigma of w transpose x plus b. And basic computations will tell you that this is actually equal to sigma of minus w transpose x minus b. Thus, intuitively, what we want to do when we choose the values of W and B is to maximize the quantity sigma of Y times W transpose X plus B. The key now is to find a sensible measure of how bad the logistic regression is that allows for easy computation, kind of like in the linear regression case, Gauss and Legendre found out that the sum of squares was a good objective function in this sense. And in 1958, David Cox had the brilliant idea of a measure of how bad a logistic regression is, given observed features x1 until xn with labels y1 until yn. So this measure is, I'm going to call it a loss, it's equal to minus the sum of the logarithm of the sigma yi w transpose xi plus b. So here we took a log that doesn't affect the, the monotonicity, so if you wanted to maximize the sigma of the, what's inside, uh, maximizing the log of the sigma is exactly the same thing. Here we wanted a loss, a measure of how bad we were, so we added a minus sign. And if you do the computations uh, replacing sigma by its expression that I've given earlier, you see that this corresponds to the sum of the logarithm of 1 plus the exponential of minus yi w transpose xi plus b. Why is this formula so great? Well, first, it perfectly fits our intuitive idea that we should maximize the probabilities sigma of y times w transpose x plus b of good predictions of the labels in our training data set. 
But perhaps even more importantly, using the logarithm makes this loss function convex. So that determining a best logistic regression now boils down to minimizing a convex function. And there's a huge, huge literature that basically shows that minimizing convex functions is an easy problem in computer science. You can solve it efficiently using nice softwares. In particular today, you can just plug your data into a data science software and ask for a logistic regression and the software will provide you with the best logistic regression in an instant. And this is pretty cool.